Shalom colleagues, this is Richard Solomon and this will be a demonstration on how to use Google Plus Hangout. Google Plus Hangout is a free video conferencing tool which can allow up to 10 people to engage in a live video conference for free. Now, in order to do this, everyone with whom you conference must have a Gmail account, and secondly, must have a Google Plus account. So let me click on my Google Plus account. This is the Google Plus account. There's my Gmail. And what we're going to be doing now is I'm going to engage in a Google Plus Video Hangout with Elaine Solomon. Let's show you how we do that. In this case, we get to the chat box, and I'm going to write Elaine's name in, which I started to write, and you see over here it says Elaine Solomon. Let's click on that, and a box will appear with the name Elaine's name on it and I have lots of choices I could start a video chat I can go off record I could send Elaine a file I can call her up on the telephone or we could engage in a video hangout so let's do that let's click on this and see what happens All right, there's my picture, and there's Elaine's name, and I'm going to click on this, and soon Elaine will be able to participate in this Hangout with me. Now, while we're waiting for Elaine to participate, let me click on this button and tell you if I want to invite other people... I just record their name in here. Elaine will be there in a moment. And that's how we invite people. Okay, so let me just first engage Elaine in a conversation and say, Elaine, thank you so much for joining me in this demonstration. This is obviously one of the first times we have ever used Google Plus Hangout. And thanks for being my partner. Okay, so I hope you can all hear what Elaine has said. And uh, Elaine, I'm assuming that you see a picture of me on your computer as I see a picture of you on my computer. Yes, I do. Okay, great. All right, so let's demonstrate other things you can do on Google Plus Hangout. Let's say we wanted to have a chat. So you click on this icon, and I'm going to ask Elaine to click on her icon. And I... We're waiting for the chat box to open. Well, my chat box is not opening right now. So maybe, Elaine, you can send me a chat message. receive it? I'm having some difficulty receiving it. Let me try. Oh, wait a second. Yes, here it is. And it worked. And I'm going to send something to you. If I could only type.
So could you read what I wrote, Lane? Yes, I can. Uh, what did I write that you see on your screen? This is the first time we are you doing this. Any thoughts? Okay, and why don't you just see how that works? So we see Elaine is typing over there. And she just wrote, I like this new tool. Let me just write one more thing. Okay, I just sent you a message. Uh, you don't have to read it. You can just type your answer. appears that she's still typing. We can be in touch with a group of people all over the world. Absolutely. All right. So let's go over some of the various icons. Again, if you want to invite other folks, you just click the invite icon and you add the email addresses of those people who are on Gmail and have a Google Plus account. We're not going to invite anyone else right now, but we're going to say that you can invite others. In fact, you can have as many as 10 people. So we could, either I, Elaine or myself, could invite up to eight more folks. We showed you how the chat box works. If you want to show a YouTube, you click on this button. We're not going to demonstrate YouTube right now, but YouTube is connected to Google Strange uh, button. Uh, it puts reindeer ears and a reindeer nose on the person you are speaking with. Uh, Elaine, would you like to demonstrate the reindeer button? Here we go. I am now a reindeer. Yes, indeed. You certainly are. Uh, we could dispense with that. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And let us share some additional buttons. If we wanted to mute our conversation, we would click here. If we would want to, that would be to mute the video, we would click here. If we want to mute the mic, we could click here. And if we want to exit, we click here. So, before I share what we have demonstrated, let me ask Elaine if there's anything that she wants to say to the audience with regard to the use of this good. I think this is an excellent tool for training of a group of people. I think it's an excellent tool to use to contact friends. Absolutely. And with the use of Gmail and Google Plus, you can do a variety of things. Of course, with Gmail, you could, of course, share files and documents. And with Hangout, which is one of the specific applications that can go with Gmail, you can have a live video conference with up to 10 people. So how do you do this? As a reminder, what you do is you obtain a Gmail, a Google Mail account. You also then obtain a Google Plus account. When you get to the Google Plus account, in my case, in the chat box, I placed Elaine's name and clicked on it. And you will recall box, and I clicked on the Hangout and was able to have a conversation with Elaine. Thank you so much for allowing us to share this introductory video on how to use Google Plus Hangout.